Pants, Jesus Loves You, and my name no, is... No, no, no. My name is Cody Ivor, this is the Christian News Show we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> Totally not planned in any way. But before we get into the news, first thing, uh, happy birthday Martin Luther King Jr. The guy that like stood for equality, and that's something that I very much believe in. So Martin Luther, I just, I thank you, even though I'm realizing just now that you are physically impossible for you to watch this video. But that being said, if Martin Luther King Jr. was around, I think he'd be very proud of the country we have today. I don't think he ever imagined us having a black president, but that being said, I don't think that he would ever stop. I don't know, he just seems like a guy that would like never stop. He would just keep going, just making the world a better place his entire life. And that brings us to the first story of the day, and the first story of the day is about one of the biggest religions in the United States, which of course is Christ no, not Christianity, it's a, it's a football. See, I found this very short video, I thought it was hilarious, I was gonna bring it up really quick and then move on, but I found that there's a lot to be talked about here. And in the video, which you can check out in the links in the description below, is about a pastor who comes up and he gives a one minute sermon. And you really need to check this video out, it's, it's hilarious. It's a minute and two seconds, you have the time. But in short, he comes up to the altar and he's like, how's everybody doing? Alright, great, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, you want your sins forgiven? Cool, they are. Here's some uh, communion stuff, bread and wine, ha help yourself, I'm out. And then, at the end of the video, he does this. Thanks be God. Yes, and... I'm out of here! <laughs> and again, I think that this is hilarious, but it does bring up the question, is he going too far? But I get that a lot of Christians out there say that it is a false idol and that we worship it and like people have different rituals, something that I would never do. Like, I totally don't have a ritual where I bet my friend at least a dollar every single game because as long as I bet him, the Broncos win. So the question is, is this guy, Tim Christensen, in the wrong for telling his church, hey, I really want to watch the game? Part of me is like, oh, he shouldn't do that. That's that's not very responsible of him as a pastor. But the other part of me says, you know, the congregation probably thought this was hilarious. Plus, next week he's got material for idolization. So once we get to the end of the video in the comment section below, you're going to answer, uh, do you think that the pastor went too far or not? I say no, but I like football and I want to know what you guys have to say. I thought our next story is more about Christian television because that is becoming a thing lately, which is awesome. I still don't really watch Duck Dynasty. In fact, I've yet to see an episode. But if you were to be into that sort of thing, you would check out Animal Planet this spring because they are making a new show called The Alaska Brown Family that's kind of, it, it's like the same thing. The real big difference only being like one of them's in the deep south and the other one is in uh, Alaska. But like Duck Dynasty, the idea of the show is it's supposed to be like a reality TV show about a God-fearing family that lives off the land. And at first I was really disappointed in Hollywood because I was like, why are you showing this as the Christian family outside of church? But then I started thinking about it and these are the kind of people that live out their faith every single day and aren't ashamed of it. And if we're really honest about it, there's not that many people outside of this culture that does that. That being said, Hollywood, if you're watching this, if you want to steal my idea, go right ahead. You, you follow people doing mission work and then you film them and then when you get the money from filming them, you give that money to the missions, to the charities. And we'll call it, uh, we'll call it Pimp My Village. It'll be great. And you, uh, you can get them a well and stuff. And then voila, everyone's happy. Oh, but uh, work on the name. Pimp My Village, probably not the best. And then for our final story of the day, we were talking about idolization earlier. And I think that this is a very good example of that. See, it's like the episode had a theme, but really I had no idea until I started talking about it. So the way the story goes, a man dropped his phone into the icy Chicago River. Most people's response would be, oh man, that really sucks. I'm gonna have to go get a new phone. But this guy's response was, oh no, my phone dropped in the icy cold water. I need to go in and get it. He jumps into the water for the icy phone and then gets stuck and is like, help me, I need to get out. And his friend jumps in after him. So you now have two people in the river and both of them ended up dying. And then you have a woman who is trying to just help these people out and she is now missing, presumably dead as well. And this is why when I go back to the football story, I'm like, you know, it's not really that big of a deal if people have a favorite football team. And that's because they're, they're not jumping into icy rivers for their football team. I love my phone, probably an unhealthy love for my phone. But that being said, I would never risk my life for a worldly possession. And so I just wanted to give you guys this story. Three people are dead because some guy really had to have his phone that was probably already broken. So if you're watching this, just ask yourself, is there something that I own that I would do this for and then realize the consequences? And then, as I like to say, don't be stupid. And I understand, this is a tragic event. I know it may seem that I'm like kind of taking this lightly, but that's only because I'm taking something that's so awful and trying to make a point with it just to get something out of something so terrible. And that's all the news that I want to talk about today, so that brings us to the question of the day, which takes us way back to the first story. Did the pastor go too far? I still say no. He really wanted to watch the football game. It's not all the time that your favorite team gets into the playoffs, so I understand. But that being said, I want to know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. 
But anyways, my name is Cody Ever, bringing you Christian news in a not so boring way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like subscribe. I'll see you later, and God bless. Come on, my grandma.